Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us ask God's forgiveness and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold they made idols for themselves to their own destruction. Cast away your cough, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, 
no God at all, destined for the plains, such is the cough of Samaria. When they saw the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind, the stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him by many ordinances, they are considered as a strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, emulate flesh, and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. They have mouth, but speak not. They have eyes but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone that trust in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Please stand. I'm the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, when problems and crises come into our lives, our natural tendency is to immediately look for solutions. But solutions hurriedly sought oftentimes turn out to be the wrong and even the worst solutions. This is what we see in our first reading today. Israel was experiencing a crisis in leadership. And so they created kings for themselves. They appointed and chose kings for themselves. And these kings later on turned out to be bad kings that led the whole nation to disaster by worshiping false gods. No wonder the Lord speaks to His people as we heard in our first reading today. The Lord said, They made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. Humanap sila ng solusyon, pero ang solusyon na kanilang hinanap ay hindi ang solusyon na nais ng Panginoon. In our gospel today, Jesus also senses a problem in leadership. Jesus said, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. Maraming dapat gawin, pero kukonti ang gagawa. And Jesus said, So ask the master of the harvest, pray to the master of the harvest, so that he may send out laborers for his harvest. Jesus did not say, We have a problem, we need laborers, so look for laborers. Recruit laborers or launch a hiring process so that we may have many laborers for God's harvest. Jesus said, pray first. Ask the master of the harvest because he will be the one to show you the solution. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus na dahil may problema, maghanap ka agad ng solusyon sa problema. Ang sinabi ni Jesus, magdasal muna sapagkat ang Diyos ang magpapakita ng tamang solusyon. My dear brothers and sisters, today's readings remind us of a basic lesson in our life. When problems come, do not rush to look for solutions. Pray first, because only God can show us the right solutions. Please stand. Through the priesthood of the new covenant, God brings the reconciling ministry of His Son to us. Let us approach the Lord of the harvest as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That more men may be called to serve God's people as priests. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that nations close to the gospel may be prepared and become fertile fields for the sowing of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those who work as priests, nuns, religious brothers, catechists, and lay apostles may inspire others to join them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may encourage and work with those who serve in special ministries in their community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the reconciling sacrifice of Christ may bring the dead to, the, to his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers. And we pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of the harvest, through our humble prayers, gather together your people. Grant us more workers in your mission and hasten the coming of the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.